Today we're going to give you a tour of our multi-tap landscape lighting transformer. And uh, we're going to go through the whole thing here and give you a good overview of what it looks like. Um, the housing comes in either a black textured or a stainless steel. Both of them are on our website. And it also comes 40 to 300 watts. Now, the smaller wattages um, are you normally use now because everyone's going to LED landscape lights. But we can go up to 300 watts. Maybe you're using a combination of LED, halogen, and incandescent. Now, I want to give you kind of a scale, so I got the pencil here. It is kind of a large enclosure, but again, this is a professional grade landscape lighting transformer, and all the components and layout are designed for a super long life. So I'm going to open it up and give you a tour. Um, comes with a packet with uh, information, installation instructions, uh, some heavy duty uh, bolts and, um, and fittings if you're going to screw this to a stucco wall. Um, but, you know, that's optional. You can use whatever way uh, works for you. The housing does come with um, mounting tabs to make it easy to install. On the inside are the uh, low voltage information, uh, the wattage, and this transformer is both ETL and CETL uh, listed in the United States and Canada. And I do want to make a note that it is assembled and tested in the United States. So this isn't a overseas China made and you get what you get. This is a professional unit. It's also uh, ETL approved for both indoors and out. So if you want to mount this inside your garage and run the wires outside, which we get a lot of requests for, you can do it with this one. But you can't do it with most of the plastic uh, consumer grade uh, landscape lighting transformers. So, so you know, check your instructions carefully. So let's go through this and I'm going to plug and unplug some of it. Um, let's hit the components as they're set up on this one. The housing and transformer does come with a uh, grounded six foot heavy duty cord, um, a heavy duty industrial grade uh, photo cell, and this is an optional piece. It's mounted to the side. That's something that you will do in the field. And there's a little jumper here inside. So this jumper would plug in where the photo cell plugs in now. So if there's no photo cell, Make sure you plug your jumper in, and there's a little socket right down in here for that. I'll show that in more detail here in a second. Um, the timer is also optional. Uh, some people don't want the timer. They're wiring this directly into a building automation system um, or a switch inside or another, another method. Now, let's talk about the timer and why the timer is set up like this as an optional piece. In most transformers out in the field, the part that fails first is the timer. Well, the transformer behind it's just fine. The actual core and coil, coil windings are fine. So by having the, the uh, timer removable, you can replace it if it should fail. And it probably will in about a year and a half to three years. It's an inexpensive piece and it just plugs in. So you're gonna, we're going to do this for you, but let me give you the rest of the tour through here. Um, and we're going to talk about each item separately here in just a minute. The terminal bus is also super heavy duty. And that's so it can allow a different sizes of wire gauge and different runs coming out of it. And why there's so many terminals here, I'm gonna to get to in just a second, we're gonna reveal that. So let me kind of take it apart and put it back together for you so you can see all the parts and pieces. So I'm gonna remove the timer and it just unplugs. And it doesn't need to be a grounded timer because this whole system is already grounded. That's what this plug is here. It's a grounded system, so don't worry about that. Don't worry about how that works. Now, if you're not using the timer, the transformer just plugs in in itself. So now we've completely bypassed the timer arrangement. And again, here's the photo cell. It's plugged into its, its, uh, its socket and wired in. Or if you don't have a photo cell, you're going to be using this jumper. And you just plug the jumper in and you'll be good. Now, this is a multi-tap transformer. So it allows you to have 12, 13, 14, or 15 volts AC as an output. See here, they all listed right here. So it has two commons that allows you to bring in extra wires. And then it has tap one, two, three, and four. So when you bring your wires in, one of them is definitely going to be in the common. And then you're going to be tapping in the beginning at 12 volts. Now, if you're doing an extra long run out in the field, you will have voltage drop. And we actually have a video on voltage drop. 
But when you first initially put your lighting system together, one wire on common, one wire at 12 volts. Always start with 12 volts. Don't start with the 15, start with the 12. We'll have a little bit more on that here in just a second. I want to show you how to test it. The transformer also has an internal circuit breaker in case you put a dead short across it. Um, this, will, this will pop over here to this position. It's the off position. If your transformer is all set up and it's not working, good chance the circuit breaker is in the off position. Just move it back over and put it here in the on position. Let's talk about a little bit more about the terminals. These are extra heavy duty terminal buses. So when you bring your wire in, you're going to loosen, the, loosen these, and they usually come loose. You're going to put your wire, I'm going to put it here in the common, and it goes down in here. You know, you're going to have to use your fingers. Make sure your wire is stripped. And there, let's see if I can get my hand out of the way for you. And we're going to take this and we're going to screw it all the way down till it's nice and snug. Got to have it snug. And you're going to go, wow, that's a, that's a long screw there. That's going to allow you so you could actually bring in more than one. Then the other wire is going to go over here, right where we talked about, into the 12 volt. And there's a lot of room in these terminals, so you could bring in a lot of different runs running out to your landscape lighting project. Heavy-duty terminals, they're on, a, they're on a slide rack here. This allows us to put a whole number of these in as we get into the bigger transformers. Um, this transformer I'm showing you today is only a 75 watt. And like I said, starts at 40, goes all the way up to 300. So we should be able to have the transformer that works on your project. Now let's talk about wattage of your project. A lot of the landscape lighting fixtures on the front of the box is going to say equal to a 20 watt, but it's an LED. So it might only actually be a 5 watt fixture that's equal to a 20 watt. You want to base your landscape transformer on your actual wattage, not on what it says on the front of the box, but usually what it says on the back of the box that says this is a 5 watt LED fixture. So you add up your actual wattage to get to the size transformer you need. And then you want a little bigger transformer just in case someone comes out and says, let's add four or five more light fixtures. So be aware of your load, your actual load, and your transformer size. And if you need help, send us an email. We got a crew here that can help you do it. This is our complete unit with optional photo cell and timer. And here, I'm gonna put the timer back in for you. And, the, and you know, timer has a little, uh, little switches here so you can have it on or off as, as much as you want during the night. And I'll tell you how I have mine set up. So at my house, I have this whole setup, and what I do is I set my timer to 5 o'clock. And you're saying, well, wait a minute. In the summer, it's not dark at 5 o'clock. No problem. The timer goes on, and the circuit's ready to go. But if it's not dark outside, the photo cell's going to take a look and go, hey, it's not dark out here until 8.30 at night. We're going to wait before we energize the system. So with this setup, your lights aren't going to come on early. Also, the timer you can set to shut off at night. Let's say we want our landscape lights to go off at 2 o'clock in the morning, just for maybe keep our house dark so people don't come wandering through the yard. You can do that with the timer, or you can leave it on all night. It's a great option. One more option is let's say you just want your lights on when it's dark. Then you don't need the timer at all. You do need the photo cell. Just plug it in here, and now the system is designed, so the power will only come on when it's dark at night. It'll stay on all night, in the morning it'll go off. doesn't matter the timing. I like the timer photo cell uh, option altogether. It does give you a lot of options. But again, that's going to be your personal choice on how you want to do it. So in summary, the multi-tap design allows for laying simultaneous runs for landscape lights according to your specifications and design layout. This transformer allows for complete flexibility in installation and use. Transformer is user-friendly with a compact design, terminal blocks for, out, for the output wires, your secondary resettable magnetic circuit breaker. Also, it's whisper quiet operation. Six foot heavy duty power cord, and the unit has a 12, 13, 14, and 15 volt AC output. Rugged, either stainless steel housing or the black powder coated as we show here. And we ask that you review our specification PDFs on our website before you order.
Order carefully. Ask questions if you have any before you order. It makes it a lot simpler down the road. And again, our crew is here to help you with your design and any of your questions. And thanks for watching. At Total Lighting Supply, we understand the importance of your time. Not everyone can be a lighting expert. We're not just about selling you light bulbs, light fixtures, and light components. We're also about helping you achieve amazing and successful lighting results in your space. We hope that our video series will assist you in achieving your lighting goals.